We know that metabolism is the amount of energy our bodies need to function. We also know that good metabolism means having ideal levels of glucose and blood pressure without any medications. But what happens in our bodies that sometimes necessitates medications or lifestyle changes? The answer to that is inflammation, a telltale sign that something related to your metabolism is just not working. Is inflammation always a bad sign? Should you treat it with medicine? We've got all the answers. Let's dive in. If your body is a fortress, inflammation is like a soldier. If you get injured or infected with a disease or toxin, or even if you're stressed out mentally, inflammation shows up to the crime scene and takes care of the problem. Inflammation can sometimes be a pain, literally. But without it, your body would have no way to wave a red flag and tell you that something's wrong. Doctors can tell when you have metabolism issues if there is a constant level of inflammation. But what's really going on in the body when it's inflamed? So there are two types of inflammation, acute and chronic. Acute inflammation is anything but cute. It's when your body is fighting an intruder in a physical location for a short period of time. Basically, inflammation shows up and sounds the alarm, and your white blood cells rush in like an army ready with tanks and rockets to kick the intruder out. Chronic inflammation is slightly different. It pops up in different parts of your body persistently, like an annoying whack-a-mole game. Over time, chronic inflammation can feel like a long, long, long world war. It can damage healthy cells and even trigger more serious conditions like tissue death and internal scarring. There's also something called oxidative stress that's important to unpack when it comes to chronic inflammation. Your body has highly reactive oxygen molecules that are kind of like hyped up mercenaries. They're ready to fight pathogens whenever deployed. You also have antioxidants that function as nurses on the battlefield. They come in to stabilize those reactive oxygen molecules and restore balance. Oxidative stress is what happens when that balance is disrupted. Basically, during an injury or infection, your body activates its immune response and cells called macrophages come to the front line. Macrophage cells generate those highly reactive oxygen molecules that are excited to fight the enemy. But too many charged up mercenaries and too few healers to calm them down can cause chaos on the battlefield in your body. And as usual, when there's a problem like this, inflammation shows up and can even attract more reactive oxygen molecules to the area, starting a vicious cycle. So how do you, the ruler of your own body, keep the peace? Is it a diet? Is it sleep? Watch our next video on how to treat inflammation